in the woods Afternoon guys, Dave Cabrera of the Pathfinder School back with a product review video from the Outdoor Retailer Show. I picked up this product called the Power Monkey Extreme Solar Charger. Rugged waterproof solar charger for your peripherals like your cell phone, your iPad, your cameras, things of that nature. It will not charge a laptop, it takes a bigger unit for that, but it's very good with your smaller things up to and including an iPad. So we're going to take this thing out of the box, hook it up to a few things, see how it works out see what the ease of use is, and then we'll test it more as we go, and you'll see it used in other videos from here on out. I plan on taking this thing out and actually giving it a beating to find out how well it holds up. Retail price on this thing is about 200 bucks. Stay with me. I'll this be right back. This is called the Power Monkey Extreme. It's a charger, a solar charger with a battery built in the UK. I picked this up at the outdoor retailer show. It comes in a very nice packaging, and on this side, you have a full set of plug adapters for all over the world in here so that you can plug in no matter what the voltage is. I've left that stuff in there because I don't need it in the U.S. But if you were traveling, it gives you the ability to plug this thing into a wall if you'd like to all over the world as well. It has a 9000 mAh lithium polymer battery unit, a high performance solar panel, it has international mains chargers for the UK, the USA, Europe, and Australia. Travel case, Velcro strap, iPad DC connecting cable, tip storage pouch, and a USB charging cable. And there's a picture of all the things it comes with on the side. This one is in black. It comes in several different colors. I want to read the back of the package for you here before I show it to you too much. But it says that you can charge two products simultaneously from USB and DC ports. You can charge an iPad one to two times off this battery at full charge, an iPhone or smartphone four to six times, a GPS four to six times, and a mobile phone eight to 12 times. Now this thing will charge just about anything with a smaller voltage type lithium battery in it. I've got, I have taken it out of the package. I also grabbed a package of these pigtails from the gentleman. One is a mini USB, a micro USB, and an Apple connector. And they are pretty heavy-duty cables. I've got one hooked up to my phone right now. And my phone is charging off this thing, no problem. And I've got the adapter for the solar unit here in the sun connected to the battery, which is showing a full charge. I'm going to get a little bit closer up on this in a minute for you. But you can see that it's got all kinds of adapters for this pigtail that comes with it so that you can plug just about anything under the sun into it that has the availability to charge through a plug-in that's other than you know the double prong that you plug into a socket just about anything else will plug into this very easily and it comes with this adapter as well so let's just kind of look at this thing up close it comes with a velcro strap that you can strap this thing outside a vehicle or to a tree if you wanted to a very nice set of instructions come with this that are very very clear and concise on how to use it how the battery module works how to plug it in it's supposed to be waterproof for the most part as well. It comes in a nice Power Monkey semi hard case that's got the solar power charging unit stores there, the battery pack stores there. You can put the small card that comes with it like a cheater card that shows you the different swipes on the battery pack. I'll show you here in a minute how to turn it on and off. So let's walk up here and let's look at this battery unit and this charger itself for a minute. Okay, so what we've got is we've got the solar charging panels and it folds in half like this. You just put it out in the sun. You plug your USB into it to go out to the battery if you want to. Or you can plug straight into a device with this as well and it will charge the device on the fly. This is to charge up the main battery unit. This main battery unit has got a rubber coating on it for bumps and banging it around and things like that. It has a unit on it that shows exactly what the battery power level is of this external battery pack. And you can see right now it's showing absolutely full. And I've pigtailed it to my phone. And my phone is also showing a battery charge of full. And it hasn't been on here for probably 15 minutes. And it was about half dead when I put it on here. So take that for what it's worth. It may not be an exact 
accurate representation of how fast it will charge your battery but from a full pack you do not even have to have it plugged into the solar panel to charge your device you can have it just plugged in to the battery pack itself and it's showing a full charge and that itself will charge your phone several times the way they were talking you have a pigtail strap that comes with it here or a cable that goes into the USB port and then into the battery pack to charge the battery pack and then you can close this up and put it back in the case when not using it or you can leave it out in the sun strap it to a vehicle strap it to a tree or whatever the case may be when you are charging either the battery or charging direct to a unit I have had my GoPro plugged into this already. I've had a couple cameras plugged into it. I've not plugged my iPad into it yet. I'm charging up my phone battery with it now. It comes, like I said, with a lot of nice instructions, nice plug-in adapters and cables and things like that. The gentleman in the UK that I talked to that developed this product told me that it is state-of-the-art. It's way more powerful than the roll-out type models that you buy that are flexible that you can roll up. He said this thing blows them all away. Um, it's not that expensive of a product for what you get. I mean, for what I do and for what a lot of people do with multimedia in the field, trying to shoot video, trying to communicate, trying to upload things, trying to take still photography and things of that nature, for the $200 retail price that this thing costs, it's definitely worth the money to be able to recharge things on the fly. You could also plug this thing directly into your car battery I'm sure if you had the right adapters to charge this up or you can plug this in directly to the wall if you are somewhere that has electricity and charge this thing up to full as well again you can also charge your devices up directly from the solar panel itself or you can charge them up from the battery the cool thing about this is you know when you're getting ready to turn this thing on you slide your finger over and you hold it down it blinks and then it comes on. To turn it off, you just do the opposite. And now it's off. Very, very simple device to use. Okay, like I said, when it comes in the box, it has this Velcro strap on the unit so that you can put it on a tree, put it on your vehicle, strap it down to the outside somewhere where it's going to be in full sunlight. And that comes with it. And then that is placed down into the storage case. The battery goes on top of that, and you close it over. Now it's got a really nice little cheat card that comes with it right here that shows you how to operate the battery pack. I just lay that inside. And then it also comes with a small pouch, like I said, that holds all of your cables that come with the unit and it has all those adapters in it and then this cable goes in there your main power cable goes in there as well as your short pigtail goes in there as well and it will not hold the extra peripheral devices as far as the heavier duty cables that I bought I don't think they'll shove down in there as well with all of this stuff but if you're only going to use certain ones you knew which ones you were going to use you don't have to carry certain ones and then it has a Velcro strap for that pouch. And you can probably put that right inside here as well very easily. I could probably put these cables right here without much of a problem. Flip that back over on top. It does fit. It's a little bit of a tight fit, but it does fit. Zip that right up and store that in my pack just like that or I could store these cables separate. When it comes in the box, it comes pretty much just like this in the box with the instructions right there. A very, very nice unit. I'm pretty impressed with it. I haven't used it enough yet in the field to give it a rave review as far as its performance goes. It says waterproof, rugged, solar powered charger, Power Monkey Extreme on the front so it is supposed to be waterproof and it's supposed to be pretty rugged and bulletproof I know that this has been used or a similar device to this has been tested in the Baffin Islands it's also been tested somewhere I believe it was in Uruguay off the grid for like a month according to the manufacturer of this product so I'm gonna try it out see how it works for my multimedia needs and I'll keep you guys posted
I'm Dave Camber at the Pathfinder School. I appreciate you joining me for another quick product review video unboxing the Power Monkey Solar Charger. Further tests remain to be seen on how good the product really is. My first initial impression is that it's pretty nice. It's rugged. It's definitely charging my devices, even not quite in full sun. So that's a good thing. I appreciate your views. I appreciate your support. I thank you for watching my videos, and I thank you for any feedback that you give me. I'll be back with another video as soon as I can.